All right, second graders, I'm going to explain how to work through checklist two dot mbt dot five part two. The learning target for this checklist is I can add two digit numbers. Your independent work is packet six dash three and packet six dash four. You're going to notice that these might be a little bit easier today. When you open it up, you are going to be working just to solve two digit problems. You can use hundreds charts, you can use number lines, you can use base 10 blocks, or you can draw them out on whiteboards. Whatever strategy you use is up to you, okay? If I was to use a whiteboard, it would look like this. If my problem was 17 plus 42, I could break it up into place value and say 10 plus 7 and 40 plus 2. This is expanded form, you guys. I'm going to add my 10s together. 10 plus 40 equals 50. I'll add my 1s together. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 50 plus 9 is 59. There's my answer. You could use a white uh, hundred chart to solve it if you want as well. So if I was going to solve 53 plus 23, I would start at 53, and I would go down 20, 10, 20, and then I go over to 23, 21, 22, 23. My answer would be 76. Then you're going to turn to the last page. And it says, Billy puts 24 skateboard wheels in a pile. He puts 24 more in another pile. How many wheels does Billy have in all? You'll write the answer there. Cindy has 27 toy planes. She buys 12 more. How many toy planes does Cindy have now? And you'll write your answer. Write a story about 14 plus 41, then solve. For example, I saw 14 people skateboarding. 41 more people came to skateboard. How many people were skateboarding in all? And then I'd write the answer. The next pa packet gives you a 100s chart to work with. You can use the 100s chart to solve your problems. Or you can use any other strategy that works for you. On the back, the story problems are, Sarah has 48 buttons. Luis has 32 buttons. Use the 100 chart to find how many buttons there are in all. Which weights will balance the weights on the scale? So if there's 13 plus 25 here, how much is that in all? And how much do you need over here? So if 13 plus 25 is 38, what two numbers do you put together to get 38 over here? Next, this says what write the steps you take to add 35, or sorry, 43 and 35 on a hundreds chart. So you need your hundreds chart, and you're going to explain how you would add it. These say 10 minutes. I want you to try to challenge yourself to do that. If it takes you a little longer, that's okay. Remember to use your timer. Next, you're going to do your fact fluency. Remember, if it's the first day of your packet, you're going to do day one. If it's the second day, day two. Third day, day three. Remember to try to get your packet done in three days. Your fact fluency should only take you five minutes. That's one turn. Next, your Google Classroom assignment. You're going to go to 2.mbt.5 part 2, and there's only one game. All you're going to do is practicing regrouping tens and ones. You're going to say three tens plus 19 ones, or four tens plus nine ones. You have to really think. How many tens do we have? If we have ten ones, that means you have one ten. So really think carefully. The next activity you have is Valentine Love Monster Edition. You need to use the recording sheet that is in the back of your packet. Some of you might have a white page and some of you might have a pink page. They're both the same. What you do is you get 
the cards that look like this. You and a partner are going to take turns solving the problems. You write your problems on your page. So if you have 73 plus 24, you would write 73 plus 24 equals. And then you're going to write your answer here. Don't worry about your addition sign. You can write it this way. Or if you're feeling like you want to try, try writing it up and down, you can say 73 plus 24 and write your answer underneath. Either way is fine. As long as you write the answer there, that's all I'm worried about. You and your partner will each take turns solving it, but you're going to write every answer here. So if I was working with Mr. Schneider, I would solve number one, but he would write the same thing down here. He would solve number two, but I would write the same thing here. I would solve number three, but he would write the same thing here. So you only have to solve six problems, but you have to write 12. The last game on here is mailbox matches. These are the yellow cards. Each card has a math problem or a mailbox. You have to find the answer to each mailbox and match them up. You and your partner are going to work to come up with all of the matches together. Okay? See how long it takes you. It shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes, but you'll have to work together because it can be tricky. When you finish, come get your quick check from me. Let me know when you're done. Way to keep working hard, my friend.